Hello, my name is Vilma Delanda, and I will be talking about reproductive cancer, specifically penile cancer. Penile cancer is a disease in which malignant cells form in the tissue around the penis. It starts when cells in the penis grow out of control and crowd out normal cells. Through this presentation, we'll talk about penile cancer risk factors, symptoms, treatment, prevention, and prevalences. Risk factors. Having a risk factor does not necessarily mean someone will have penile cancer. Some risk factors include HPV, which is responsible for 40% of all cases. And of that 40, HPV 16 is responsible for 28.3. Another risk factor is not being circumcised. Not being circumcised may make it easier to contract the HPV virus and may lead to development of phismosis and smegma. Phismosis is a condition in which the foreskin of the penis cannot be pulled past the glands and a balloon-like swelling underneath the skin may be present. Smegma is a combination of skin cells, oils, and moisture. Other risk factors include age, UV light treatments, smoking, and HIV infections. HIV positive men are eight times more likely to develop the cancer. Some symptoms to look out for include growth or sores on the penis that do not heal within four weeks such as warts, ulcers, or blisters that may or may not be painful, changes in color of the penis, skin thickening, persistent discharge with foul odor beneath the foreskin, unexplained pain in the shaft or the tip of the penis, a reddish velvety rash beneath the foreskin, and again, phismosis. Treatment. To diagnose penile cancer, a medical assistant may do a physical exam and medical history, then a biopsy will be performed to stage the cancer. After the cancer is found in stage, the cancer care team will discuss treatment options with the patient. Depending on the stage of the cancer, the overall physical health of the patient, personal preferences about the treatments, and their side effects. There are a few cancer treatment options to choose from depending on the stage of the cancer. The most common treatment is surgery. It ranges from removing the tumor by cutting away cancerous cells under a microscope amputation if the cancer has spread throughout the whole penis. To the right is a diagram describing Mohit surgery. Radiation therapy is used in combination with surgery most of the time to prevent any reoccurrence of cancer cells from coming back. Chemotherapy is used when the cancer has started to spread throughout the body. This usually occurs in the later stages of cancer. Topical therapy is usually used if the cancer is caught in its early stages in combination with light surgery. Penile cancer cannot be prevented 100% because there really is no specific reason as to why it is developed. To reduce the risk of penile cancer, the use of HPV vaccines such as Gardasil and Cervarix, which help reduce the risk of HPV. Other prevention methods include the use of condom, good hygiene. Good hygiene is an important part of oh, prevention this form of cancer. Uncircumcised men should retract the foreskin and clean the entire penis when they shower. Avoid known risk factors, which again include to avoid HPV infections and smoking. There are two main factors that increase the risk of getting HPV. These are circumcisions and the amount of sexual partners a person has. Research has found that men who have not been circumcised are less resistant to infections and are likely to stay infected longer. Valences. Penile cancer is a very rare type of cancer in the United States, and it accounts for less than 1% of cancer in men. It occurs in less than one man per 100,000, making it one of the rarest cancers in the country, and it's more common in ethnic groups that are uncircumcised. In the United States, HPV penile cancer is most common in Hispanic men out of other ethnicities. In the U.S., the next highest ethnic group is American Indian, Alaskan Natives, followed by African Americans, whites, and lastly, Asian Pacific Islanders. Penile cancer is run in developed nations. The annual incidence is approximately 1 in 250,000 in Australia. In the United Kingdom, it is less than 500 per year. But in developing countries, it's more prevalent because circumcision is less common. For example, in Asia, South American, and African countries, Penile cancer accounts for 10% of malignant cancer cases in men. Ultimately, penile cancer in the United States is very rare. To keep it like that, it is recommended to have good health and hygiene practices as well as being proactive when you notice the symptoms. Thank you for listening. Created using Powtoon.